I am actually getting rid of a lot of things right here. <laughs> things I don't need to worry about, such as, oh no, I should have saved that. I was looking for lure three. That seems to be a rare one and I just chucked it. Okay, we'll save this one. We don't need these fish and I actually don't need these bowls. I don't know why we keep those bowls. I don't do anything with soup. Um, it just takes up space, you can't stack it. <laughs> so it's kind of a tough thing to justify keeping in your inventory. I don't know how many, how many more times we're gonna use this fishing shack. I mean, it's it's so overpowered. I mean, we've got a bunch of stuff. Of course, if I keep dying, you know, like you've seen me do, uh, my track record uh, would say that we need to continue uh, using the fishing shack every chance we get. I'm gonna build a disposal unit and normally I would I would dump it. I wonder if creepers can climb ladders. They don't have arms. Hmm. Let's go see if he can climb a ladder real quick. You're just like, Mo, stop while you're ahead. Just stop. <laughs> you know what's gonna happen is a skeleton's gonna shoot me off this ledge. Oh boy. <laughs> see? Oh man. Enough of this goofiness here. Let's uh, let's build in here like a trash chute. So when this stuff gets full, we'll pull out the good stuff, and the rest of it, we'll just dump out here into the ravine. That'd be kind of cool. Bunch of items. You know what that's gonna happen though? Mobs will pick up the items. Look at this guy. Oh, he didn't make it. Why didn't he make it? Let's go say hi. Let's go say hi. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Why can't he make it? Come on. Can they not go through a little, a little opening? Okay, so I made a couple of items. We made a, I made a comparator, I made a repeater, I made a dropper, I made three hoppers. Grabbed uh, that bucket of lava, I grabbed the lava from over there. So what I basically have to do is I have to put a, a hopper underneath this chest, but it has to be locked, meaning it has to be powered so that these items don't start draining into it yet. So I think, we want to unlock the hopper via a switch that will run a redstone signal down and unlock the hopper, thereby draining everything into our garbage disposal unit. To run a signal to that torch. Let's see. Um, we need to run... Redstone would have to go... Redstone or a repeater would have to go into that guy. Now, I might have to make another repeater because I may not have the space to do this correctly. If we put the switch here, that means that block would not be there because that'll have redstone on it. Now, redstone can't run this way because the block here is gonna cut that redstone off, but I could put a slab right there. Make stone slabs here. So we'll have to put a slab and that way the signal can come. Let's see, we'll see if the line gets broken. Oh, it flows. So if that flows down here, now we could remove that and we could remove that. Yeah, we want it to come from behind because the way redstone is it has to go this way. If we just have one, one there, like and it comes this way, it won't power that block. So we could do it with an inverter, but then we'd have to have three of them. So we want this here. And what if we came up this way? See, now I'm running into a problem. So I have to go back further. That's okay. This is really not compact. I'm not a good redstoner. This is probably a good time to chat about redstone and what I don't know and uh, what I do know. I do know how to follow YouTube tutorials very well. This is another reason for my Let's Play, which is to sort of teach myself and get better with redstone. So we can have redstone come down through here and then, hmm. We need it there. Let's see, um, can I curl around? Yeah, so it would go down. Oh, let's see, but it won't. Oh, will it actually go underneath? Let, let's, uh, let's try it out and turn it on. So it doesn't work. See, I can already see the signal's not going underneath. Why not? I know why. Because slabs only power redstone signal upwards. You can't power down with slabs. 
the redstone would go up that way if we powered it here. That power goes up. See, it wouldn't go down, but it does go up. So slabs will allow um, redstone signal to travel upwards. Okay, so knowing that doesn't work, then we do have to do the wrap. So we can put our block back here. And it comes down here, down here, down here, down here. Okay. Power coming down, and it turns this guy off. So when that's off, the hopper that's going to be right here will be unlocked, and it'll be free flow. Everything will go to the lava pit. Okay, so kick that on. We need to make a sign. So this has to go over here. And we need to make a sign real quick because we, we will definitely forget which way is which. Another chunk of a uh, texture pack that comes from another another texture pack. My signs. So let's see. Um, if I could, you know, type like a normal person. All right, so it's up, means no power. It's holding items, and we're gonna check that out right now. Put a clock there, here we go. So there's a hopper under there, pointed into that block. All right, and it should not be filling up with items. Awesome, they're staying here. When we turn that off, that's gonna fill up, but we're not gonna do that yet. We're going to have this guy go into, the question is, I don't think, I think I'm gonna have to run it out one more to be safe. Hmm. I could drop it one. Maybe, let's see. Let's see if it still works. Not picking anything up, not picking anything up, good. If we do our dropper here, like so, then we need, yeah, to put a torch under it here. And then we need, <laughs> we need to put a floor here that we don't fall down and let all the mobs chop us up into bits and pieces. Fish food. We don't want to be fish food. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put the circuitry sideways. Um, yeah, so we'll put a block here and a comparator goes here. So that'll see when there's an item in there, it'll kick a signal out to here. It'll punch it into here. And this will have a block. So that's hot. And that's hot, which means that's turned off, which means that's not gonna fire, right? But when an item drops in here, power goes into the comparator, which turns this, which powers this block, which turns this off, which turns that off, turns that off, which turns that on, thereby firing the item out of here. It's facing the wrong direction. So, there it is. The torch is there. So we do run the risk of items sort of floating there, but it doesn't matter, they'll despawn. So we'll build that up. Let's do that. Yep. So now we're gonna see some action here. Okay, so let's close this guy up. This is our little walkway here. I don't know why that's off-centered. How bad is that? How bad am I at design? I said I was good at design and I'm just the worst. This is all just first night stuff though. This is just, you know, crap you throw together to get through <laughs> at the beginning of the game. So I'm giving myself some slack, man. Just cut me some slack. You don't have to cut me slack though. I don't, I don't deserve slack, but okay. All right, let's just, we want to close this up, I guess. Yeah, we'll just close it up. Okay, so this guy, all right. Well, I think this can go here. Maybe I cut a signal off. No, I think it's okay. I think I can put it here. I think I can put it here, and here, and here. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's try it out, ready? There they go. So 
So that'll clear everything out of here for us. We don't have to worry about emptying it anymore, like doing manual, you know, whatever. It's got a lot of stuff to do because there's big stacks of stuff. I built it wrong. Uh, we got to fix it. So, yeah, what it did was um, I put a redstone torch there to stop that hopper, which it did. All that worked fine. Um, what I didn't do, or what I didn't understand what was happening, was that not only was it, so this block being powered um, turns off that torch, which releases that hopper, but at the same time, this block being powered locks this hopper. See, item sits there, which means when we turn on, turn on our switch, this hopper, while this hopper unlocked and starts spitting items in here, this hopper locked and would keep these items up here. So the way to alleviate that is to remove this entirely put the block here, right next to this hopper, and then run the redstone line directly into here, which powers this block, thereby locking this hopper. Oh, actually, it'll be locked here. See, it holds it in the chest. Um, and then you go up here and flick the switch, which of course is reversed now. Um, now, it won't, now it will not hold the item. There you go, see him drop, okay. So yeah, so that's kind of a bummer um, that I did that wrong there, but at least I caught it before I put the episode up <laughs> and fixed it. So again, that whole uh, measure uh, once and cut a thousand times, that's, that's how I roll apparently. So we'll um, cover that up there. But the other thing I wanted to do is, uh, I kind of talked about this thing being the wrong direction and I didn't even do this bit here. Oh, I don't want to take that out, so. So what I needed to do was put, the whole reason I turned this dropper around and face it that way was because I wanted to run this redstone, um, tor uh, the redstone signal back up into that comparator so it would clear it. Um, so let's do that real quick. It's a very simple bit here, so it comes here, feeds into that. So when you put items in here, it's firing, it's firing. We'll see it go to the last one. And it makes sure, it, I, I think it makes sure that the last one gets taken out. Um, I don't know, I'm actually doing stuff that I don't understand so entirely, which of course is a recipe usually for disaster. Um, but you know, we'll, uh, can I put a line here? If I put a block here, it'll block it, so. Uh, it'll cut that line if I put a block here. So we'll put a block here and that should be fine. And let's just test it here. That yeah, works fine. Okay, so now we're all cleaned up, ready to go, and that's uh, now fully functioning. So now if we drop a block, um, we drop stuff in here from up here, we should hear it go off, yep. So took those another another rack blocks, drops them out there. So of course I changed our sign here because now it's up, up switches uh, the lever is up to discard, and it goes down to save items. All right, so hopefully, uh, <laughs> so in case you're following along or you need to build the same thing, you'll be able to do it right the first time, not like me, the second or third or fourth or fifth time. Because also, that manning and protection four. How many is that? I got 27, 27 levels yet. That's seven. Man, are we going to do it? Are we going to do it? We did it. Might as well, you know, live dangerous. <laughs> Living dangerously. Oh, boy. We'll gear up, uh, get some stuff ready, and we will go exploring the world. Find us a place to maybe call home. I'm going to do one more thing before we leave. I'm going to bake up a bunch of fish, but I thought we should build in you know, one of those cool um, bulk furnace devices. Um, again, I've just seen this on other, other YouTubers build this. It's a pretty standard item, so we'll, we'll knock it out ourselves. Two furnaces, six of those, six chests, and the way this works is we want two chests here. Oh, we have to be able to see these. That's the one issue. So, we'll get rid of this 
wall because we'll have to I think um, so if we put our chest here and then oh, we could do this and furnaces and now here on the back will be the coal or whatever else you want to burn goes in the back chest and then the ones on the top mm -hmm. and we have to take that block out right there right so I think this all works drop it in here it'll start dispensing yep and it should dispense pretty evenly yeah okay and then well that's really all we need that's it and then we can take up a whole bunch of fish and drop it in here in the top and they'll start going in and start cooking and when we come back well this isn't a spawn chunk so these will stop when we leave a certain area but I'll just keep burning when we're in the area if we're down mining there or whatever we should have set this up much sooner I forgot it was so simple yeah, you know, I'm a crafty Minecrafter, that's me. Crying Mo, the crafty Minecrafter. Crying Mo cries a tear of joy, because he's a crafty Minecrafter. All right, I don't know what that was all about, I apologize. All right, it's daytime. Straight up, got some floating islands up there. Okay, we're kind of set up, we don't have a lot of stuff. We do have some food, we'll be okay. We'll go wander around for a little bit. That's where we come from, so that's our spawn over there. Right over there. Oh, look at that cool little arch. Could make a boat, we could sail around the edges. Ah, what is happening? Why did I not hear that guy? Dude, that's like, uh, I have a word, there's a word for that. It's called cheating. Look at you, look at this little fool over here. Look at the fool shooting at him and missing. Oh my goodness, I am a terrible, terrible shot. You see how the ender fight's gonna go? How the ender dragon's gonna go? You know how I'm gonna beat that, right? Purely by attrition. I beat the ender dragon by going into the end naked and dying over and over, but jumping back in and taking out, you know, a little more hit points here, a little more hit points there. Um, the cave looks cool. It looks like a hobbit hole down there. Why don't we go in there? That's pretty neat. Let's see what's over there. But I did not hear a creeper hiss. I did not hear, oh shoot. Not one of these creepos, man. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Oh boy. Wow, this is this being a nice little home here. But we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna live. I mean, we will do some underground tunneling and, and some burrowing out, but Wow. Goes on, goes on. What do you think's back here? I think we'll run into a just another cave system. Oh man, it just opens up. Wow, it doesn't really open up. Oh yeah, look at this. Okay, okay. I'm down to check this out. Right? Holy smokes. Oh man, look at this. See, that's what I'm talking about, the overhangs. Wow, holy crap. Wow, run away. Be very afraid. There we go. Oh boy, somebody's mad. Somebody's mad. Come here. Come on. Bring yourself back. Yes. Give me that. Thank you. Wow. That was um unexpected. <laughs> Man, this is just crying mo is just the, the glutton for punishment here. Wait, where? What? Come on, are you above me? What's happening? I come out to look in the daytime and it turns into night already? Wow. Okay. Come on, I got you. Where's the guy yelling at me here? There he is. That's not anything. <laughs> I just shot at the dirt. 
Dude, so this is pretty rad. Look, there's our, our little hidey hole. Over there. Now I'm just lighting stuff up. Oh, man. Oh, the spiders are creepy sounding. Whoa. Yes, I know. I should do it by the feet. So they can't get me. Where's the spider? Man, I gotta follow my torches back. Okay, so... Okay, now I have a minute to breathe for a second. <laughs> like... Um, this looks extraordinary, man, right? Look at that. Is that beautiful or what? It's gorgeous. Look at this. Well, I want to explore it in the daytime. I want to see things. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's like a, look at that. We got a pond over there. Oh, man, the sound of those little spiders legs moving. Okay, um, wow, we gotta light all this up. Man, making this world, yeah, I boosted the diamonds, but it's not, that's just the tediousness of lighting this stuff up is just gonna be horrifying. Like, this is just, this is just tedious work. Wow, I keep seeing the flowers and the, the roses and they look like, Ah! They look like spider eyes <laughs> constantly. <laughs> oh man, that we need to turn that guy into a villager. Oh, there's multiple guys coming. Dude, there's two of them. Okay. Wow! Okay, how can I trap these guys? I only have two blocks. Um, why did I do that? Oh, shoot. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, gosh. Wow, that was just, that was just a nightmare. <laughs> oh, man, I am, what do I do here? Whoa, man. Okay, oh boy. Okay, we got, wow, that was a giant failure. <laughs> oh, man. 